Hello, my name is Joshua. I'm here with MedfordTools.com to discuss our sink notching software and hardware to help you accurately notch tubing. Today we're going to discuss the accurate form of tube notching that many shops use with hole saws. Now there's many ways of notching. You can use an abrasive notcher, you can use a grinder, but the most accurate, fastest way of notching that we have found in our shop is with hole saws. Now, any hole saw will do. We prefer stare at hole saws, six teeth per inch. They have a tendency to not tear out the tubing. So, today we have a small mock-up that we've made. We're gonna take a piece of tubing that is not cut correctly to length and show, like most videos, how to notch the first notch so it accurately fits into the structure. Now, where we have a struggle on finding videos online of where to cut the second notch, how to cut this piece of tubing so it accurately fits a good weld joint and don't waste tubing. Today, my assistant Richard is gonna help us with both notching and holding tubing in place. So for this lower notch, we're going to be notching with a hole saw through this piece of tubing to mate it with the lower portion of our structure. Richard today will be lining up the tubing and with this size of tubing, inch and a half, the proper distance of the hole saw will be one third the diameter, which is half an inch from the end of the tubing. Now that Richard has successfully deburred our first coped hole in our tubing, it is ready to be joined to the lower section of our assembly. Now, this is very simple, very straightforward, and almost any video on YouTube can highlight how to cut this first notch. What we're gonna try to demonstrate today is how to use some basic tools that we have found effective to cut a second notch in this tubing to save you both time and tubing cost to minimize waste. The first tool that we're gonna to use today is what we call our sink notching centerline finder. This tool allows you to find an intersection of tubing and where its centerline is. Very simple, it can go up to three inch OD. So most of our customers have long marked on their tubing, either using the seam for the tubing as a reference point or simply eyeballing on their tubing exactly where they want their centerline to be. Here at Medford Tools, we're not that gifted and we cannot find that center line simply by looking at it. So we have this tool, the Sink Notching Center Finder, and it has two notches, one at the top and one at the bottom for marking where the center line is on a piece of tubing. And it helps you intersect those lines precisely, quickly, and with very little guesswork. Simply mark on the tubing, on either mark, and you have a center line reference point and that is a target to shoot for. And most people will use either a straight edge or a ruler. We have a bevel that we have that has a channel marked out on the inside of it to fit multiple forms of tubing or pipe. And it has a scale on the side of it to help reference when you're needing to measure. Doubles is a handy straight edge. And in this case, that's what we're gonna be using this bevel for, marking out our center line. So you have your parallel center line along your vertical tubing and you can use our next tool, part of our snap collar series. They range in size from 5 8 inch tubing to two and a half inches tubing. This one is specific for one and a half inch tubing. We'll click very simply onto the tubing for reference. The way that this works is it references both sides of the tubing simultaneously, zero degrees, 180 degrees, and 90 degrees. And that way you can clock properly the orientation of your tubing for your second notch. The way you guarantee correct orientation is you line up that one mark with your center line that you drew and you mark exactly at the lowest end of your tubing so that way the snap collar is parallel with the lowest portion of the tubing you're joining 
and in line with the center line of your tubing. All right, now Richard will take our clocked and measured tubing and cut to length one third the outer diameter of the tubing, in this case, one half an inch above the snap collar. That way the ears of the tubing post notch will be the correct distance for a clean weld. Now that Richard has successfully cut our tubing to length and orientated our tubing inside of our tubing notcher, we have drawn a line where our snap collar is on our tubing for point of reference. Once that snap collar line has been drawn, you can easily remove the snap collar and use any flat stock you have in your shop to line up underneath your tubing to reference our center line finder. We do this to verify our center line on our tubing, and in this case, the tubing is clocked slightly off. Using our center line finder's holes, we can now properly align our tubing to maintain a 90 degree angle to the hole saw for a proper clean notch. Now that Richard has successfully deburred, notched, and cut our tubing to the correct length, you can now orientate your tubing and fit it correctly into your workpiece. And it is clocked correctly so both notches fit securely and cleanly for a good weld. Next video, we will discuss how to cut a complex double 45 to do a cross brace joint or a notch that will come from a very odd angle and how to do it with the same tools cleanly and quickly. Thank you for watching our video on notching our tubing. Today we're going to talk about our tools that we used for the job. Our sink notching family snap collars. They range in size from 5 8 inch tubing to 2 half inches tubing. They're available in scheduled 40 pipe sizes as well. These snap collars reference both 0, 90, and 180 degrees for accurate indexing of your tubing and or pipe. Along with using these snap collars, the center line finder can be invaluable as we hope the video portrayed in both finding the angle and the center line for your tubing. Our Sync Bev is a new product that is available on our website to help you find your angle for when you're doing acute and obtuse notching, as well as a straight edge, with a standard scale built in. Thank you for watching and don't forget to visit medfortools.com.